What's up my fellow geeks, Zaki here from Geek Culture with another unboxing of Sons as you guessed it. As you can see, we live the legend. Legend of what? If this doesn't hint to you, this is the Mass Effect Legendary Cash. Cache. Cash. I'm gonna say cache. Because that's how we do here in Geek Culture, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that for the ado, let's have a tour of the box. I'm not sure if this is the front. I guess I'm gonna say this is the front. Uh, yes, we live the legend. You have a glimpse of Commander Shepard with his helmet. Alright, at the back again, repeat. And just some extra stuff, especially the, the BioWare E uh, logo here. Uh, it contains a one to one scale wearable replica helmet with LED light effects, a metal hot shell game case. A limited edition art print, an enamel spinner pin, and a printed N7 welcome letter. Of course, this helmet is only intended for cosplay and provides no real protection and requires two AA batteries. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And the first thing that comes out of this box is of course the welcome letter. Alright, y'all can feel free to pause this and have a read for yourself. I just like how it's, um, it says, congratulations on your graduation from Captain David Anderson. Awesome. Very, very, very cool. Nothing at the back. I'll put this here. All right. And here we have the prints. So let's take this out and see what it is. It's all about out it's nicely wrapped for protection wraps in paper too I'm not gonna do a very good job at taking out the tape it's just a wrap it like Christmas and it's uh yeah man it's a it's a nice canvas print if you think about it so we got a female looking commander shepherd it's a nice canvas print too so it's a really nice texture as you can see that nice, nice hard back too yeah feel free to mount this on the wall man for all you mass effect fans and i believe there's gonna be another one second one over here again not very good at unwrapping this this time we have a canvas print of the Normandy. Very cool. This is nice. I, I dig this one. It's really cool. Get canvas print. Hardback. This is the pin. It's a two pin kind of thing. Get it close to the camera. This is of course the Renegade logo and it's a spinning pin. So once we remove the two pins from the back, pin holders, Paragon logo. Of course you can spin it depending on who, but I'm Team Paragon, so you know. Yeah, Team Paragon. Spin it. Ooh, yeah, okay. It's like a little fidget pin spinner of sorts ha. very cool we have a steel hardwood case to store your game unfortunately we do not have the game that's sad but nonetheless pretty cool huh got a nice n7 here Again, Commander Shepard's um, bust, if you will. And you have the Mass Effect Legendary Edition on the spine of the book. Very, very cool. For the piece of la resistance, first we have the N7 Helmet Users Manual on how to uh, install the batteries. We won't go into that in further detail, 
uh, of course you can have the download the manual online I guess uh, it shows you how to adjust the N7 helmet to fit as well now of course this is the moment you guys have been waiting for check out the helmet so oh there we go okay I'm gonna take the box away right and we shall unravel the helmet gas very cool check it out isn't this awesome it's great in all of its glory very cool Even the back here too, that's awesome. Nice N7 logo as well. Very interesting. Now, you look at the, it's not really vent holes, but you get some textures here as well, and the chin guard. This is what the top looks like. Kind of reminds you of um, Star Lord, doesn't it? Right, the visor as well. The visor is pretty transparent. Let's check out this weathered look. You know, all across. It's kind of like carbon fiber looking um, detail, but you can actually feel this. It's all textured, it's not like a sticker or anything like that. And just the complete weathering on all the edges and sides. If you look at the. So you can see even the edges here are kind of kind of weathered as well it's almost as if it's rusted a little bit or aged in space dust all has some sort of weathered look as well and of course don't forget the n7 sticker it's a very nice touch as well it's it's completely embossed so it's not like a sticker where you can peel. It's it's really in there. It's molded in there and painted. From the underside of the helmet, this is what it looks like. So let's compare this helmet with some other helmets that we have here in the Geek Culture Studio. All right, so we got ourselves two other helmets. Of course, we've probably seen this. This is the Hasbro Black Series Mandalorian helmet. Of course, we also have this Iron Punisher from Hasbro as well and you can see we've been in close to close they look pretty much similar in size but in my view with the Mass Effect helmet right here the N7 helmet looks a little taller if I just put my hand you can see yeah it's 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 a little taller let's let's do a comparison from side to side too I think if I were to just take the Mando helmet you can also see that the Commander Shepard's helmet is a little bit wider than the Mando helmet as well. Alright, so without further ado, I think the only way is to wear it. I mean, it is for cosplay, so of course you gotta wear it. Excuse my hair, I did not do it today. So, does it fit with glasses too? I think that's the main question, isn't it? So, It fits. It fits. Yeah. I like how the the chin guard itself it's blocking. So you know you guys can't see my double chin. But you now I could wear this all day actually. Now I wish the visor itself is a little, you know, a little more tinted. Also you could probably see my face through the visor. This has lighting effects as well and it's a button around the back. It's a very spacious interior too. Just trying to figure out where the button is. You don't really have to like squeeze your cheeks into it like the Mandalorian or the Iron Punisher helmet as well. There is a battery casing over here. There's a three-way selector switch right here. 
By default at the center is to turn it off. If we shift it to the left, then you have the red lights. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a stand. You can see that the red lights glow. All right, and it's not just the front of the chin guard over here. You do have some red LED effects. Right, just above the visor line as well. And look at that. This, this is a nice touch. Red LEDs at the back as well. Okay. And if we slide it to the right, there you go. Even an, I don't know, I don't know guys. I don't know whether the, the red or the blue looks nicer. I, 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 I mean, I'm a sucker for blue colors though. This is really cool. Check out the back as well. And it really glows. And you can see whether it looks even better in the dark. Oh yeah. Yeah, it makes me want to play the game again. It's very nice. I'm just gonna turn my head back so you can see glows. Very cool. Yeah, I dig it. I think I prefer the red, it's more menacing. If I can reach the battery pack. Yeah, here we go. I am Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite helmet on the Citadel. You know, it could have been better if uh, he had some voice kind of synthesizer, but it's really great. The interior though, the, the interior is very different compared to like the Mandalorian helmet. You really see all the wires in this helmet where all the lights and doodads and everything, but I think it provides that aesthetic purpose. You know, it's, it's sci-fi, so we, we have no clue what is technically right or wrong when it comes to the interior of helmets, but I like it. It's roomy, it's very roomy, it's very spacious. And you know, you're not gonna have a hard time. If you're gonna cosplay as Commander Shepard, you won't have a hard time wearing this helmet. And uh, by default, I mean the fitting for me, and it's a little bit of give, but you know, I think I, I prefer that. Of course, you can adjust the straps to make it a little tighter on the crown of your head, but I dig it. I think it's very nice. I think I look badass actually. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below, yeah? So with that said, we hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the video. It's gonna, it's a quick one guys, you know, there's all the details on there. But you know what's better than me talking about this helmet? More B-roll. So with that said, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel and smash that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload new videos. Until then, this is Zaki, signing out. Adios.